Hello everybody, this is Infinim here, and right now, actually just uh, four minutes ago, Tech's kit has been released. Tech, another character to go along under Hunter's team for the Bad Batch. What do we have here? Brilliant support for clone trooper allies, tags enemies with target lock, setting up his allies to inflict serious pain, uses translation to buff his allies and reduce their cooldowns. Translation, a buff that is only seen on 3PO, now on Tech. Can turn the tide of the battle by clearing all debuffs on allies and stunning enemies. Okay. So let's see what he does. Stealthy support character. Okay, we shall see. The translation. Very good buff. Let's see. Basic. Deal special damage to target enemy and inflict target lock for two turns on target enemy and the healthiest enemy that didn't already have it. So it helps spread around. If target enemy was already target locked, attack again. So the actual benefit. So if there was an enemy that's target locked, uh, you can actually spread the target lock over to two different characters because it's going to spread over to the two healthiest. The The benefit in that is going to be uh, for the leadership and their hunter that is going to prevent them from being countered. Special one, delicate operation. Tech and target other clone trooper ally recover 40% of their max health. Max health recovery never bad, especially if, if we put this again in that reek perspective. Recovering max health is incredibly beneficial because it just gives you some extra healing. Uh, because you don't really have a lot of protection and you really need it. Doubled if the target ally is bad batch. 80%! Jesus! That's amazing. Gain stealth and potency up for two turns and translation for three turns. If tech was already stealth, which other uh, bad batch allies do, all other bad batch allies also gain translation. So Hunter is very easy to stealth the, the whole team because he stealths all clone allies. And now Tech also brings in AoE translation to the squad, which means that they don't even need to use their specials. Okay, not too bad. And this animation is super sick. Absolutely. Like the animations on the Bad Batch squad are absolutely on point. Special 2, brilliant idea. Dispel all debuffs from clone trooper allies. So he's going to dispel everything from his Bad Batch friends. All Bad Batch allies gain foresight, tenacity up, and stealth for two turns. A lot of stealth that is being given by themselves. Deal special damage to all enemies and inflict stun for one turn on enemies that are dazed or target locked. So you it can be resisted this stun. So I guess you will want a lot of some degree of potency over on tech. And he also lends the target lock because it, it can be resisted. Uh, so you will definitely want a lot of potency there. And there's the potency up that is can also be given. Double diff target gain. Yeah. Tech and target other clone troopers. So he does give potency up to himself, which is very beneficial. And he flicks stun for one turn on enemies that are dazed or target locked. Now, I don't think there's any dazed in these kits yet, unless I, we have to read the unique. Uh, but there's no day so far. And again, another just one Zeta character. Just one Zeta character. And final text. At the start of battle, tech gains plus one speed for each clone trooper ally, double for bad batch allies. So if he has four bad, so three bad batch allies, he's going to get six speed and then the clone troopers. Uh, so plus one. So he's not going to get a lot of speed out of that unique. If all allies are clone troopers, tech gains stealth for one turn. Uh, I'm assuming this is at, at the yeah, this is still at the start of battle. I'd assume. Tech has plus 25% potency for each of his own stacks of translation. So you probably want to start by getting your translation out there first. And then, sorry, with this, you want to put out your translation. Although this heals, we shall see. Um, well, because he, you really want him to get the, the stun going on, most likely. Uh, while tech is active, clone trooper allies gain translation for three turns each time they use a special ability so very reminiscent of um, the 3po event translation cannot be copied if the character ally has translation the duration for all current stacks on that character resets to three turns if all allies that can apply translation are defeated all stacks of translation expire beneficial effects based on cumulative number of stacks so um, this is going to increase max health if you have it once. If you have two stacks of translation, it's going to increase both max health and critical chance. If you have the three stacks, you get the max health, the crit chance, and also the fact that it really decreases the cooldowns of these characters. One thing to notice between both tech and hunter is that both of them actually have cooldowns of three here, a cooldown of four. So it just helps them to just keep using their, their spamming their turns. And for example, hunter has that TM swap. Helps him to keep controlling the field a lot. So I'd imagine this team right now is looking very sick in Light Side Geo, that's for sure. So right now we're just missing one day's kit and we're also missing the defense up part. So uh, we shall see how, how that is going to happen. So far this kit is also insane. 
I think the Bad Batch is in for some amazing performances in Light Side Geo. Camp Mission is looking a lot easier with these guys. So we shall see how that, that is going on. Um, very strong squad. I'm very eager to see how, how well these guys are going to do in regards to um, other things in the game. Are they be going to be able to counter Galactic Legends? We'll have to find out. We still have two more kits to go. Next one, char character reveal. I believe this this has been delayed, has it not? I think during Hunters, it's it was just supposed to be next week, next week. Now it's going to be April 28th. We'll have to wait quite a while for that one. And then the other, the last character reveal looks like May the 4th. So I think this schedule actually just changed. I just, just noticed this now. Very cool kit, really like it. And uh, that'll be all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video. If you liked it, please uh, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this.